Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is my second round of 16 World Cup predictions video. So the left side's done and this is the right side now. Wolf Bainsons versus Darun, Wenteros versus Crystal Hunter, Arzawain versus Andri and Tiss123 versus Ornan. Let's have a look at the teams and do the picks. So first up it's Wolf Bainsons versus Darun. Um, he's taken a second wrestle lineman, absolutely great choice. Uh, you know, Darun has blocked sure hands. Um, Crystal Hunter has blocked sure hands. All the human team have blocked sure hands, or at least sure hands, but blocked sure hands specifically. And wrestle really helps with a sack against those. You know, when, when strip ball is of no use. So uh, yeah, I think that's a, a fine choice. He's got kind of the team that I maybe should have chosen. Uh, he's a very good coach, so looking good there. And as I predicted, Darun has gone block on his thrower, and that's the thing, you know. This is the problem with Wood Elves in this in this setting. Um, everyone who's playing them is is going to either have a block carrier or a sure hands carrier or both. Um, after round one, all the teams with a sure hands guy are going to put block on them to to protect themselves a bit more. So it is a bit trickier to get the sack. They're still good though. They're still Wood Elves, you know. This is the thing. Like it's not. It's not the end of the world. They're still really, really good. They're not as dominating as they are on tabletop, but they're still a great choice. Uh, three guards good. Mighty Blow Tackle is good as well. Um, but to be honest, in the two games that Darun has played in this tournament, he has he has left his thrower a bit exposed in both of them, despite being men up. Um, so, um, you know, I think if he does that against Wood Elves, it's going to be fatal. So I'm going to back Wolf Bainsons for this one. And the second match is Wenteros versus Crystal Hunter, the luckiest team ever. He's gone for sure hands on the catcher, and I, I don't understand it, and I don't like it, and I just think it's weird. <laughs> um, I really don't understand. Maybe he's planning on getting block on him for the for the semi fight for the quarterfinal match if he wins. I, it seems a really odd choice. I think dodge or wrestle on a lineman would have been better. I even think sure hands on the strip ball dancer would have been better if, if you want sure hands. Or dodge or, or wrestle on the thrower. Um, yeah, a really bizarre choice that I don't understand personally. He's got a reroll and an apple, but yeah. I, I, I don't get his skill choice. Obviously he does. Um, and he's he's a fine player, you know. There's absolutely full respect to Wenteros. I just, I don't understand this choice personally. Crystal Hunter on the other hand has gone for block on his sure hands carrier so absolute nightmare for the uh, the Wood Elves to, to get the ball off him you know if, if he keeps guard, guard round him very unlikely to uphill him maybe if he can get a one dice on him he's got half a shot but uh, yeah you know plenty of guard tackle mighty blow uh, and with that sure hands I've, I've absolutely got to back Crystal Hunter in this match. And the third match this half of the draw is the fourth mirror of the round, and it's also a Spanish mirror. Both coaches are Spanish, and they both got human teams. Um, Arzawain has gone for the only way he can get guard. Um, so, you know, I was slightly critical of Falladius with a block guard, no, Guinness with a block guard, uh, Crocs ago. This, this block guard mummy is, is the only way he can get guard, so... I don't feel like there's a better choice he could have taken um, for the mirror, really. You know, he's got five guard, which is pretty good. And, um, yeah, he's got mighty blow, tackle, everything, really, isn't it? Very good team, 12 players, three rerolls, Apo. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. Solid. Andre, on the other hand, has gone block on the catcher. Which makes sense when you think his next double, he can then give it guard. So I, I quite I quite like this block for like it's not bad in in this game. It's not going to be bad. He can carry the ball on a on a block catcher. Um, you know it, it's it's not bad. Obviously he's going to be down a guard for the game, which could be crucial. But next game, he, he, you know he'll, he'll be looking better with having a protected guarder. Um, but yeah, I think I think the guard advantage. You know, both both have played well in this tournament. Um, I think actually Azawain was the one who was handing off to the, picking up the throw and handing off to the catcher, wasn't he? But the guard advantage. This is a really close one to call. It's probably whoever's luckiest is going to win this one. 
I'm going to back Andre just because of the handing off to the catcher thing. <laughs> and the final matchup of the round is Tiss versus Ornan. Uh, Tiss has gone guard on a blitzer, as you would expect, kind of. He's, so he's got four guard now, which is shaping up nicely. I'm really not sure about the Mighty Blow Blitzer, but, you know, it, it can randomly win some games. Uh, you know, the, the extra removals can be huge. Um, he still has only a dodge guard, which does suck a bit, but, you know, that's kind of what he's got to do, really, hasn't he? He needs to get more guard, so fair enough. Good team. You know, Amazons are, are tough to deal with. 13 players, 4 rerolls, 4 fan factor can, can be crucial, so, yeah, very strong. And Ornan has taken the counter pick of Tackle, which kind of weakens his matchups in the quarterfinals and onwards, maybe. Um, you know, he has gone the double tackle to deal with Amazons, which is which is fair enough, you know. I think maybe he should have had a Mighty Blow Tackle instead of Mighty Blow Piling On, but, you know, worked out for him so far. And, yeah, he's got a pretty weird-looking team. But, you know, he, he's in the match, and he can definitely win. And... Do you know what I think with two tackle he probably does win this one. Um he is he is down guard, but he's got thirteen players. Uh only two rerolls. Ooh, I don't know, this is a really hard one to call actually. Um let's say the mighty blow guy will hit someone's without dodge. Without dodge, without block. And then the tacklers can hit the others. So maybe he can get the win here. I mean uh, Yeah. Zons are really zones are really dicey. If 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 the if the zones stay on the pitch, they're really hard to deal with. But anyone can roll powers against them and break armor seven. So it's a dodgy one. Let let's say that is because he's sacrificed, you know, his his future matchups maybe a little bit. He has fully committed to this game to win. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and pick on for this one. Andy beat me. <laughs> So there's all my picks for the round of 16. Um, I will be covering all of the matches live on Twitch, and I will be doing replays for them all for YouTube. So keep an eye out for that. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.